Hey guys, in this video, what I want to show you is how to create a personalized email for your subscribers in Klaviyo. Now, I'm going to show you in Klaviyo because that's what we use and recommend. If you don't have a Klaviyo account, I recommend that you get one for free by clicking on the link uh, in the description below. Now, the reason that we want, I want to show you how to create personalized um, emails is because research by OptinMonster, who's one of the biggest um, pop-up generators that's out there for e-commerce, They've got some uh, statistics on it, and it's showing that here you can see uh, studies have shown that personalized promotional content emails can result in 29% high open rates and multi-channel retailers, blah, blah, blah. Basically, what they're, what they're telling you is that emails with personalized subject lines when compared to emails with non-personalized ones have a higher open rate. So they're amazing, and I'm gonna show you how to add those into in Klaviyo how to do it. Uh, the most commonly used piece of data here is what Optimus is saying is that including the recipient's name, which leads to a 21.2% open rate. Now, as I keep saying when we go through email marketing is that we want to achieve an over 20% open rate on our emails. And the great way to do this is by putting people's names in. So that means that you're going to need to put it, you're going to be collecting these names on the pop-ups as well. So make sure you're getting a first name at the very least, as well as their email so you can personalize emails to them. So when I'm doing it, you can see I sent this one out this morning. So it says, hey, first name or default gear bunch up. This is what I'm looking at here. Now, where did I get that from? There's a lot of variables that you can put in. I go straight to the source. Klaviyo has a you know, link here, which I'll put in the description below, which is the template tags and variable syntax. Really long way of saying that here's the links on how to add things in. So here's some examples that you've got in there. Hey, first name, last name, your email is blah so you can add in there the different things manage preferences but basically when you come down here yes it is helpful this is the variable for first name this is it for last name email all the different things that we want to have this is the one that I tend to use the most because there are times where people don't put the correct don't put their first name in so I don't, I'll put like hey gear buncher or you can put whatever you call the people that are subscribing to your list it could be, hey gang, you know, hey gear bunch family, or just hi, first name default there, hi there. But that sound, doesn't sound natural to me, so I don't use that. You can put, yeah, you got hi Jessica. Um, you can make it so that it looks like it's got, um, you can make it so it's got the capital letter at the beginning. You can add, when we go into custom variables later, like custom properties, you know, if the person's got a favorite color or a favorite design on gear bunch, say they like skull leggings, I'll go, you know, hey, Dan, uh, the latest skull leggings are now out and I'll know exactly that it's there for them. Um, so look, this is the real easy way to do it. To do it, all you do is just copy and paste that in. Make sure you change the default to whatever it is that you want it to be there. But the one that I copied out said, hey there, we've got hey gear buncher. If we just go and I'll just do a preview and it'll, I'll show you what it looks like when we do a preview. Once it loads. You can see I'm using GIFs that I've showed you how to create in earlier videos. So I'll go preview um, and I'll send it as an email. So it's gonna, this is the placeholder, so it's gonna go to me. And what I'll do is I'll pause the video just quickly and I will grab that email and show you what it looks like as a subject line. So here you can see this is the one that I'm talking about. This is the one that's come through. Hey Dan, did you miss our weekly deals? On sale right now. So you can see this is the personalized part because it had my name. That's as simple as it is. So you can see the difference. You know, this one's just for you, your discount code is. So really great idea to include the personalization. They tend to stop you. They tend to grab your attention when you're looking at your email list. It's like something's been sent to you personally, which is why they result in higher open rates. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe for to our channel to get uh, more free tips on Klaviyo and email marketing and how to profit from your emails, not just how to send emails out, but how to actually profit from them. And everything on here is free. It's all information that you can implement in the space of a few minutes time, like I've just showed you here. And then they can just become part of your normal routine when you're sending out emails. Again, if you don't have a Klaviyo account, make sure you click on the link in the description down below. It's free to set up an account. You can go and build out your entire ecosystem in there following along with these tips. And then, you know, when you decide to go live with it, you can look at paying for an account depending on how many subscribers that you have.
but I will uh, leave it at that for now and I'll talk to you in the next video.